What's up, y'all? It's Kiki Love and Kiki Love G. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. <laughs> An unconventional Fit Friday, shall we? Um, I can't stand water. I think it's disgusting. Hit me out. Hit me out. Hit me out. Hit me out. Dang, somebody's already cussing me out in the comments. You need it. Shut up. All right, look. So water is disgusting. I hate it. It tastes like nothing. It's bland. I can't stand it. It's like nothing it's 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 it has no flavor and see people are like what do you mean water has no flavor it's whatever it is water so how is it nasty y'all understand the concept of bland chicken don't you come on now y'all don't understand why i can't stand it y'all don't understand why i don't like it i don't like the taste of water it has no taste you understand when chicken don't have no flavor i don't i don't get it it's bland chicken that's it i don't like it i can't stand it it's it's just Oh, I just, I need, I need something, a hint of something. I, it's just a lot to drink. It's, it's a lot of water to drink. Like I just, I'd be stressed. Just thinking about how much water I need to drink, how much water I haven't drunk today. And I'm just sitting here like, it ain't gonna get drunk. So before, probably as you roast me in the comments section, I don't really care. It's whatever. This is my body, not yours, my, your business. Thank you. Now I can't stand water. I do not like it. That is completely honest. I'm not lying about any of that wouldn't do it to you I do drink water <laughs> I drink water because you're supposed to drink water there are a lot of things about life that I can't stand that I do anyway because I'm supposed to do it water is one of those things still cannot stand it so I add like so sometimes I put like lime in it I ain't fooling no lemon mm, they're just like my tea different fruit will be good for me you know put grapes berries whatever it is I put it in there it helps it Gives me some type of, mm, some type of, mm, a little flavor in it. You know what I'm saying? But water is very much so important. And I realized this, or I learned this better yet, you know? I learned this as a part of my health journey and a part of like my growth as a whole. I realized I dropped a lot of weight early on when I just cut out sodas. You know, some people are like, oh, don't drink sodas and don't drink, you know, juice or whatever. It's a lot of sugar and juice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but when you've been drinking soda for so long, like you need a, you need a gateway. You know what I'm saying? You need to ease into that thing. You know, what I'm saying? A little mm, right on it and just. Mm. You, can't, you can't expect me to just quit everything at one time. Calm down. So I just started by drinking juice and water. And then I kind of just started drinking more water over time because I was like, oh, okay, well, you know, let me cut back some of the sugar and just start drinking more water. And it just naturally happened. And so now I drink more water, but not entirely as much as I should. So here are a few things that I've learned while being a water drinker, whatever. So I found out 60% of our body is actually water and 90% of our blood has water in it. It makes so much sense, doesn't it? You know, so I guess that's why it's so necessary. Mm -hmm, yeah. So also, water and how much you drink determines how frequently you poop. Or not, in some people's case, you know. I don't, I don't know. Because, like, it helps flush everything out. It keeps you clean. It goes through your system. And so it should be a constant flushing of things. And so it really helps, like, your kidneys, health, and all those things. So it really just keeps you regular. Okay. What I learned early on was you're supposed to drink half of your body weight in water. So take how much you weigh, divide that by two. That's how many ounces you need to be drinking on a daily basis to help you, to keep you flush. Now, that right there isn't like backed by a specific university. People can't agree on that or whatever. But my doctor told me I need to be drinking half of my weight in water. So that's just what I've been doing. Water also impacts your skin. So a lot of people are like, oh, you know, drink water, da 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 And so it, it really does. And I honestly can see the difference when I drink water, how, like, how much I should and how consistently, like I said, which is pretty much daily. I see a difference in my skin. I also see a difference in how like I feel overall. So it's very important to make sure that you're drinking water on a daily basis and you're getting in what you need to because it kind of it helps flush out the toxins that you have in your body and it also like helps with the blood circulation. And so if there's more water in your blood, sorry words. <laughs> So if there's more water in your blood, it's circulating more throughout your body, which is allowing like, you know, your skin to, to get the oxygen that it needs to get because you know, it helps circulate oxygen. So it helps to get the oxygen and stuff that you need throughout your body, which can help your skin, gives you a better fighting chance. Okay, okay, help, root for you, drink some water. And one of the last things I realized, hey, ooh, somebody else probably already knew this, but it, it reduces your chances of getting a hangover. Think about it. 
think about it. So for the most part, I just looked up these things, but I, th these make sense. This whole thing about, you know, it reduces your chance of getting hungover. I feel like that really makes sense and it really works for me because I feel like some people have more of a, you can have more of a higher alcohol tolerance or whatever. And so you just drink, you just drink, you just drink, you just drink. However, if you drink water and it pushes things through your system, like it flows through your, <laughs> it flows through your blood. Like if, if it's circulating, you know, through your blood and everything, it helps it push through your body quicker. So like if it's strong, uh, so if it's going through your blood and it's going, you know, through your, your body to get all the toxins out of you, of course, it's pushing all the alcohol through you faster. And I feel like you have a higher tolerance for alcohol because it's just not being processed through your body as quick. And so when you drink water, it kind of makes it, it makes it, it definitely does it for you. Um, I'm not sure about everybody, but I know for me personally, it's definitely true. <laughs> I def, it's definitely true because like, I don't, I don't drink to get drunk. I'd be tipsy. So it just makes me get a little, ooh, mm, mm hmm. Okay. I like this right here. We ain't going no further though that's it and so it gets me to that sweet little spot and then I don't feel like oh I need to drink I need to drink I need to drink because I feel good I'm, I'm fine like I, I like how I feel I don't need any more it's fine um so yeah that's just pretty much a few things I've learned being a water drinker rah, 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 whatever and I just want to share that with y'all so water is very important make sure you drink your water most important part it definitely helped with my weight loss um def definitely did um a lot of the the waste fecal matter <laughs> i love that combination of words but fecal matter and everything like that and just excess water weight flushing it out pretty much flushing most of it out but yep yeah, so until next time know that kiki loves you this has been a fifth friday episode and i'll see y'all in the next one